Yo, 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 yo. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jerry's coming to you guys with another video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you guys get notified for every single video that I make. Also, click any one of my links in the description down below. If you guys want to see how to make my main three bills, links will be in the description down below. If you guys want to um, watch my vlogs, those also will be in the description down below, along with my Amazon links, having my gaming equipment, and just a PSN card or Xbox card if you want to uh, support your boy or get any of my gaming equipment for support. Then, um, yeah, definitely do that. But straight into today's, into today's videos, guys, um, there's a new badge, not a new badge, but a badge that really people no one re i don't think i've done a game i haven't done a gameplay on it yet um i don't think it's really possible for me to do a gameplay on it maybe i'll try I'll, f I'll figure out a way um it's interesting to me but the heart crusher badge now guys the heart crusher badge um i would say that you know now that i have a, i already had a good understanding of it but basically what it is guys whenever you get a steal or a block it just gives us an additional penalty to the uh, player, the person you're uh, still like you steal the ball from or block. It just decreases their takeover meter a lot more. And in this game, you guys are gonna see a perfect example. Now there is a highlight or like a um like an extra game at the end. So if you guys want to see uh, the extra game at the end, please stay tuned for it. But um uh, these are what my stats are looking like. Um really really great stats, guys. All 99 for the uh, perimeter, lateral, still block and rebound. And then I got some uh, good ball handling, good enough to get by a lot of people. Great finishing, and then the physicals are just great. 98 speed, 99 acceleration, 84 strength, 80 vertical, 99 stamina. And uh, the vertical will go to an 81, and the speed will go to a 99 once I get the gym rat badge. Um, my animations, guys, I know my dunks used to be like a real flashy before, but I switched up to just some normal dunks because I was playing in a super clutch 1v1 game where I did lose because of a cockback dunk that I did like a uh, like a tomahawk dunk. So I decided to keep it real simple to where it's going to be difficult for you to get blocked, which is just front clutches. All you got to do is just push your right stick forward and you'll get to eat like the most simplest dunks uh, to not get blocked. And obviously you need to equip contact dunks. So you can get those contact animations where it's just guaranteed basket um so yeah let's get straight into the gameplay guys um the one thing i can say about this build i kind of wish i did put the shooting stats to mid-range shooting instead of three-point shooting because it's so difficult to shoot threes i just wish i would have switched it to mid-range but um straight into today's game guys now today we got we got a kid that tried to cheese me y'all a kid tried to cheese me y'all see i got a w i decided to keep the footage rolling I'm like, yo, y'all see how much VC I got hovering at 270K. I did lose a couple of games, so that's why you haven't really been seeing it increase. Um, if I just go back to the My Career grind, I can get that to 300K. Uh, I still got to get my uh, 2 a slash and playmaker to a 99. He's currently sitting at a 94. Um, if you guys want to see how to make that build, link is in the description. But today, right here, look, right here, guys. Um, and this is why I switched my uh, the badge line. If you guys seen earlier, I switched it because. Not in this gameplay was I using it, but I'm going to show you guys why going forward I'm going to attempt to use the Heart Crusher badge. Now, guys, pay attention. He's a 67 overall, interior force, but 2K super duper broken. So all it takes is like it just takes the little things to be super dominant in 2K or to just exploit the game and cheat and cheese. Cheat and cheese or cheat and cheese. Try to say that. It's a tongue twister. Cheat and cheese. But in all seriousness, bro. I don't I don't get it like this game is just like I don't know is I don't know hopefully for the next gen consoles they they can you know expand on their on their on the progress or, or the process of making the game just more polished and more realistic I get tired of people saying an arcade game like guys we're already playing a basketball video game um it's already arcade you know what I'm saying it's a video game I mean, if you want it to be arcade, just go play, go play um, NBA Jam or something. You know what I'm saying? Go play NBA Playgrounds. If you want to see arcade, go play that. Um, you know, at, at some point, you just can't. It just can't be too wild. But he's 67. His stats are low. I'm expecting him to just like, you know, I was I was ready for you know 2K to give him a lot of layups. Some people are gonna be like, bro, why are you complaining? You're a point guard. He's a center. Guys, I have an 84 strength. You get what I'm saying? Like that's that's what I'm saying. I have an 84 strength, and I know his strength is is in about the 70s because I have an interior force. He's a 91, but I remember like before I really had him fully upgraded. His strength is only sitting at like about a 70 something. So um, I'm, I don't even if even if you know he has no badges. You know he has no badges. But okay, right there, perfect example right there, guys. Right? 
so I block him, right? I block him, and you know, I get my takeover. I dunk on him, right? Keep that in mind, guys. Remember that. Um, you would think that, you know, if you block somebody, you know, they shouldn't really be getting their takeover, you know, almost immediately afterwards. Um, if you're getting dunks on them, you're finishing in the paint. There's no real reason for them to sit there and, and get their takeover, right? But I'm going to show you guys a little reason why Heart Crusher Badge would definitely be OP. It definitely would work out for you because when you get those blocks and you get those steals, um, the Heart Crusher Badge is going to activate and it's going to be almost impossible for them to get their um, takeover on you. Um, especially if you're a lot. This is only good for lot on defenders, guys. If you're not a lot on defender, do not use the Heart Crusher Badge. Um, I don't think it'll be really that much worth it but um yeah pay attention um so i blocked him the first time scored on him a couple times so his takeover meter should only be dropping he goes up for a layup right there he misses another layup um so yeah at this point you would think that his takeover is just like nowhere in there but i don't know why they kept allowing him to thrust like it looked as it looked as if he was getting ready to jump and then he would just thrust and then just get a perfect contest on me it was making no sense but um yeah he got some a decent two good stops right there but still, remember, in order to get your takeover badge immediately, you have to do the moves or the uh, the things that your takeover badge requires. So if you're a sharpshooter, you got to shoot threes, shot creator, fade away, playmaker, um, playmake. But you see right there, I block him again, guys. So keep just keep tracking me, guys. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm going through the gameplay with you guys. This is really me explaining why Heart Crusher Badge is going to be really OP. Um, I'm laying the ball up on him. He's not getting stops. I got two blocks on him. Um, he's a 67 overall. Um, he has not been able to do much. He hasn't been able to generate much offense at all. Um, I go for a layup on him again, so he's just getting bad defensive, whatever. Um, and oh yeah, early in the early, I know you guys did see me switch Giant Slayer to, Relent to Relentless Finisher. You guys can put it however you feel. Um, Relentless Finisher, Giant Slayer. If you're going into 1v1 court, obviously Giant Slayer is going to be a key badge to have. So it's all up to you guys, however you're feeling. I just felt like putting it back to Relentless. I don't know, it's just how I felt at the moment. Um, you see me going for the layup right there. He does get a contest, but look at everything else I've been doing to this guy, man. Keep in, this guy, just keep it in track. Remember, I've been blocking him, doing all, like, just everything to not make him get his takeover. So, um, I know he is a post scorer, but at the same time, like, how high can his, you know, let me know, like, does it move up halfway when you do one post move? You know, he just made a post move. I think he's going for another one. He's probably going to make this right here. Um, no, he misses that, so even it makes it even worse. He misses that, gets the layup again, and um, he activates his post takeover, guys. Do y'all? I hope you guys understand what I'm saying right there, guys. How in the world does he get to activate his post takeover? He's missed layups. He's got blocked multiple times. All these things, but somehow he gets his post takeover. So yeah, y'all. Um, I will be using Heart Crusher. I hope you guys are understanding why, what I'm saying, what Heart Crusher will do for you. Like how I just blocked them all those times and, you know, specifically the blocks. The blocks more than anything because that's when Heart Crusher activates is when you get blocks. When you get blocks or steals, Heart Crusher does activate. I blocked him twice before, you know, before that um, him activating his takeover. So having the Heart Crusher badge is going to significantly decrease his um, chance to get his takeover. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Um, I hope you guys like understand the explanation that I am giving to you guys. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video. I might title this why Hall of Fame Heart Crusher is the best badge. Something along those lines to um, get you to understand. Because I know this even happens on the 2v2 court a lot. A lot of the times you might get a steal. Or, you know, it's, it's a little bit more debatable in the 2v2 court. Because it is difficult to get steals. But for my build, me being on the 1v1 court with this build right here. Um, I'm going to try to utilize Heart Crusher because um i don't i don't got time for that because if i had i been playing somebody that was better had more um like a higher uh, overall um i probably would lose the game because of that like you know what i'm saying i did my best i played to the best of my abilities i got two blocks before he got his takeover you know there's really no reason why he should activate it but um if you made it this far just simply put in the comment section down below real one leave a like on the um video subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell Let's get straight into the next gameplay. Now, right here. This is when I was on my win streak, guys. Now, I did stream yesterday. If you guys didn't see it, I'm sorry. I know I don't stream as much as I should be. But, um, you know, 2K, 2K is a game that it just leaves you with mixed emotions. I don't want to. I'm not trying to blame it on 2K. You know, at the end of the day, it's on me. 
when I'm playing and I'm on the game streaking or whatever I'm doing I definitely need to be streaming so I'm not blaming 2k I'm just saying it's just a game of mixed emotions some days you want to stream some days you just want to just sit there and you don't you know you don't want to deal with the shenanigans like that's why I try to upload for you guys as much as possible but um yeah during my streak guys uh, I just want to show you guys why this build is OP now a lot of people always say oh my god Why would you make a point guard to a finisher? You should have made a small forward this and that blah 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 Had I made a small forward guys, I wouldn't get those 99 stats So that's why I decided to go with this right here now Um, I know you guys are like you're playing a bot, but this is just you know This is just some extra gameplay for you guys. You know, what I mean, I'm trying to I'm trying to give y'all extra gameplay You know, what I mean, but you see right there relentless finisher badge popping up now That's why I say um However you're feeling, you can uh, adjust your badge how you want it to. Now, luckily for me, uh, the next like three guys that were on the court were all like point guards, and I think I beat all of them. This is when I was streaking up, so yeah, I beat all of them. But um, yeah, obviously, Giant Slayer is not gonna work when you're playing against point guards. So it, it's kind of like how do you want to attack it, you know? Because uh, even when you're playing a center, sometimes if you, you if you get a hop step dunk. Relentless finisher would be better suited for that. It's not like you're gonna get a layup every single time. It just Whenever you do end up getting a layup giant slayer just really helps you when you're going up against the center But you see right there me getting a nice contact on bro If y'all enjoyed this gameplay man smash the like button, but like I said guys a little quick I'm gonna do a little quick promo guys if you want to be a youtuber, bro You want to start up being a youtuber and you you want to you want to you want to have the right equipment Y'all, I'm telling y'all right now, the links are in the description. The gaming monitor is down there. The PS4 controller is down there. If you have the funds to get a PS4, you can do that. Um, the, my snowball mic is down there. Guys, everything down below in the description, where, from my laptop to my PS4 to my PS4 controller, all that is in the link in the description, guys. If you click those links in the description and you purchase through my link, you will be supporting me. You will be showing me love, so I would appreciate that. Also, guys, if you're an Xbox user or a PSN user, there's also PSN cards on there, guys. You know what I'm saying? PSN cards or Xbox cards, $20. You know, that's the one that's most brought in the world. You know, that's the most common sold uh, card in terms of, like, you know, for the PS4 or the Xbox. So, if you guys would click those, I would appreciate that. Also, guys, your boy went to Los Angeles and did some vlogs. I did some vlogs for y'all, man. The first two vlogs are in the link in the description. If you guys want to see the next two uh, parts of those vlogs, simply just watch them. And uh, last but not least... The three builds that I use mainly on 2K are in the link in the description. Guys, go click them, watch them, support your boy. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. More gameplay will be coming with my two-way finisher build and my main builds. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss any of my uploads going, or going forward in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy, Jaren Ranks. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.